Mark Rogandino in sports. You know, we love our sports, but we're seeing some ugly things happening in some of these games. We should be focusing what's happening on the court, right? I mean, the NBA playoffs is a special time of year, and the, as the restrictions continue to loosen, arenas are filling up with fans there to cheer on their favorite teams. But what is also becoming a more frequent sight is unruly behavior from spectators towards players on the court. And the thing is, the end result is always the same. Uh, take the other night in Boston where this young fan was escorted out by police, and then he was actually charged with assault the following day. The disgruntled young fan of the Celtics decided to throw a water bottle. You'll see it come across the screen right here at former Boston guard Kyrie Irving. And after Irving and the Nets came in and blew out Boston in New York last week, Atlanta star Trey Young was spit on by a Knicks fan courtside before inbounding the ball. Pandemic or not, uh, this is never a reason to spit on anybody, regardless of how bad your team is playing. And then where it all started, remember the first incident in Philadelphia, dumping popcorn on Russell Westbrook as he left the court. That fan was eventually pointed out and banned from Wells Fargo Center. And recently in Utah, Memphis star Ja Morant's family in endured lewd and racist remarks last week from Jazz fans during Game 2. Understandably, that did not sit well with the Grizzlies point guard. Obviously, it bothered me, you know. After the game, I went back to the hotel, uh, sat with my family, and they told me actually what was said. And, you know, I, I got kind of frustrated because, obviously, you know, I was telling them, you know, to stay cool. Um, but if I knew what they said, you know, I, I would have just let my family handle business instead of, you know, trying to calm them down. Uh, let's not forget this incident. A couple of days ago, a security guard tackled a fan who ran onto the court during game four in our nation's capital inside Capital One Arena in D.C. The fan in question was then banned from the arena and D.C. police plan to pursue charges against that fan. Uh, I think we all can agree, right? There's no place for this and this type of behavior in any type of sport. And the crazy thing is, uh, Christine and Alex, with all these cameras around these days, you're always going to get caught. Always. People want their moment, though, sometimes, which is really kind of disgusting. Ugly. Mm, yeah. Agree.